And now I'm gonna start defining the initial load generated by these weights we have just created. First of all, going to define the center of row, go to weight, center of row, and the name is sand one and it's all zero zero zero. Go to apply and now I'm gonna go to environmental load loading and weight load condition area let's create the acceleration pick up the center and we're gonna accelerate only in Z direction using 1G. And check this box to not include the structural weight. Okay. And for this one, to create the load condition, now we, we have just created the acceleration and now we're gonna create the load condition. So area, you're gonna use area. Click apply and OK. We have to do that for the other weights we created and save the file as 08. Next step is to define environmental parameters to create the environmental loadings. Go to environment, drag and mask coefficient. Let's change here the unit to centimeters and use diameter 2.5. The drag coefficient 0 0.6. The mass coefficient 1.2. 250, the same coefficient. And check this box, use clean values for full member. The next one is to define the marine growth from 0 to 60, thickness is 2.5, and density 1.4. From 60 to 79.5, it's to 5.0, and the density 1.4 okay now I'm gonna define some overrides go to override member group global and select legs 1 2 and 3 and here we're gonna define some coefficients normal drag coefficient in Y and Z 1.5 and normal mass coefficient in Y and Z, 1.5 also. Click apply. Okay, click on C state. The first load condition is going to be P000, which is the storm operation condition in direction zero. Check the box, wave, wind, current and dead load. Let's start with the wave. We're gonna segment the member in 10 parts. Let's go to the wind one tab. We're gonna use the velocity 25.72. The reference height we don't have to type here. We're gonna use AP08 which is the API 20, 20th edition. And the wind direction is zero. And wind to tab. There's nothing here to, to define. Let's go to the tab. And here we're 
just going to check include the buoyance below the mood line and let's go back to the current tab for the distance of zero the velocity is 0 0.514 Distance of 79.5, 1.029. In for current 2 tab, blocking factor option, gonna use auto. Blocking factor reference elevation, minus 5. And current stretching option, linear. Then click apply. I have to do that for all the directions. P045, P090, and for the storm load condition for the three directions. The wave height 6.1 and the period is 12 seconds. The wave direction is zero. And now let's go to the wave two tab. Definition units degrees. Initial crest position 0 degrees, wave position step size 20 degrees, number of crest positions 18, and the critical position gonna use the maximum base shear. After creating all load cases, let's combine the load cases. Go to load, combine, and the first one is OPR1. And here we're going to use area live equipment miscellaneous and direction zero. And here we're going to use the factor 1.1, then apply OPR2. Is the same but in 1.1. Then click apply. Now we have created all the load combinations. They are listed here. Select the load case we're gonna use to analyze and report. Go to options, load condition selection and select the combos then click apply and then we can define some allowable stress modifiers go to allowable stress material factor and for the storm loading let's define 1.33 Here in options, go to unit check ranges, and the first position is 0 to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to 1, and 1 to 300. Click add, and finally we can save our file. This is the last one of the quick start guide. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.